Hey Virgo, this is Ascension Empress with your November 2019 reading. Thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate you all. Um, welcome. If you are new, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you who have remained. I hope everyone is doing well. And Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I just been getting this sharp, sharp energy around y'all, especially when it comes to communication. Um, some people may have been like the recipient. Like, you may have been on the receiving end of some very harsh, sharp communication. A lot of those people, um, it was due to projections and, you know, hurt people hurt people. And, yes, it is a very sensitive time right now as well because it's Scorpio season. So, with Mercury being in Scorpio, Mercury retrograde, um, Venus being in Sagittarius. So, a lot of people are kind of really wanting their freedom, but also <laughs> wanting love and happiness. So, yes, um, I'm getting a, a lot of Virgo energy in other people's readings, too, mainly with the Seven of Pentacles. So a lot of people are kind of really looking at their investments, analyzing all the hard work and everything that they put in, um, what their intentions have been over time and what they have brought into fruition. So um, some of you may be thinking back to Virgo season or you may have played a very important part in other people's progress. Mm. So we have the moon card <laughs> and some things may not be clear right now, maybe around the time of the full moon in Taurus, that things may be coming to surface, not yet clear, but coming to surface for you to kind of just look at because the way they're looking at this moon is like, hmm. and then we still have this retrograde energy, which is heavy. Could be dealing with the home situation. Yeah. Wow. Yep. <laughs> so we have the nine of wands, the eight of pentacles, the lovers, and the four of wands. Exactly. So someone may have felt either hurt or just very drained by a work situation. With this nine of wands and the eight of pentacles, it's like they're constantly putting in the work, constantly going to work. And then this nine of wands, it's just about to be the ten of wands just completely burdened and i'm getting that this person is doing this for a partnership but also because um they know a stable home is a happy home and they love their family they want to provide for their family so it's not a question whether to do it or not but i'm getting now there may be some contemplation about how to go about doing it and this may be a mutual agreement with the lover's card. This is interesting. Wow. So going into the past, we have the nine of swords and the devil card. Exactly. So this nine of wands, to me, speaks heavily to the nine of swords and the devil card. It's basically confirming that this feeling of being drained and just like... <laughs> You lost the battle and the war is having to do with not being able to get enough sleep. Um, maybe your partner not being able to sleep without you. I'm just getting. There's even maybe a lot of forgetfulness, like this person may not be able to see clearly or you may not be able to see things clearly or think clearly. Um, emotions just may be all over the place because of lack of sleep and feeling bound to a situation, feeling stuck into a situation. This is really interesting, Virgo. When I see the Nine of Swords, I often think Virgo, especially in a low vibrational sense. Wow, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So... Going forward, you have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups. So there may, if, <laughs> we just talked about how things may not be clear right now, especially with this moon card and the devil and then not being able to sleep. It's hard. Like, one, when you're not eating well enough, you're not staying hydrated, and you're not getting enough sleep, I've been there. It's not easy. And so clarity is here with this Ace of Swords and, and the Page of Cups. I'm getting clarity, um, communication, very clear communication, and answer. I'm hearing strongly an answer, an apology. 
An apology is the only answer. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Virgo, clearly... This energy, it's, it's always the last stretch. It's always the last stretch when you start to feel like, is it worth it? Did all that I invest in, is, was it worth it? Was I supposed to do it this way? Or was I supposed to wait and do it, go about it a different way? But with this, you start off, I'm thinking home. I'm thinking family because I when the moon came out, the, I'm thinking full moon. So it may be around um, the full moon in Taurus that takes place shortly also speaking towards you know stability and values and possessions and we're thinking about venus we, we think about taurus and so there may be some worry around that and some fear but i'm getting more at more so after the full moon and once that energy subsides um and you really just continue to focus on something of a deeper meaning not this man-made energy because that's where this devil card and this nine of wands and this ten of, and this nine of swords is here for. I want to say ten of swords. So some of you could be feeling betrayed and backstabbed and just completely, completely out of it. Just you have your thoughts aren't even your thoughts. But to see this lover's card and the four of wands and the ten of cups and the ace of swords you have all nothing but positivity going forward and this negativity going into the past so this is very exciting very exciting virgo look at your happiness your family your home the unit is on your mind it's on your heart and the health of it all the wealth your wealth is the health of your family that is such a virgo energy when i think about virgo oh i love it I love it. <laughs> Very clear. King of Swords. <laughs> that may be this person or this may be the energy that is delivering this Ace of Swords, this truth. Um, maybe an apology. Like I said at the very beginning, there is an energy around some very sharp communication that may have hurt you. Um, it may have been perceived differently, or this person may have not just been in their right mind. They may have been very tired, very out of it, not themselves, and can't even think straight. Um, and you have you may have been coming to them innocently with this page of cups, or now you're just kind of feeling very fragile emotionally and this king of swords is you may be viewing them as kind of very cold right now not really wanting to communicate and this may be this energy that you've internalized after this encounter with them like oh my gosh you feel like you've had like you saw or you can sense this tie that they have within them a spiritual tie with this devil card and you about ready to cut it on you like you you can cut that but i'm getting you're not going to cut that with more negativity or fear you want to bring happiness and stability so that this darkness can run because when you see nothing but light shining around these cups, this is beautiful, Virgo. Very interesting. But I'm still feeling a very, very grounded energy. And that may be why this swords energy is very necessary. When we come, when we, especially with this Eight of Pentacles. So wanting to work towards something consistently may feel tied, may feel bound, um, may feel like you are selling yourself really short, spit, putting in all this work and not getting much in return. Because we talked about you are giving all these other people advice about how to get the best book for their investment. And now here you are wondering if you're doing a if you're going about it the right way yourself. But you are. 
not don't get caught up in this man-made stuff like we talked about earlier and it can be so easy to say especially to Virgo who wants to just make sure things are done um you're looking at things objectively practically um things are organized staying on schedule you know think six house energy and then you want them to kind of just go with this flow but that's what the Scorpio energy is really calling for and then not to mention this Mercury in retrograde. So that's why this King of Swords could be here. Delivery could be a little off, but I'm get I don't get that they're in their low vibrational energy. This Scorpio retrograde full moon energy could just be making it seem as such. This, this, yes, this is all we've been talking about. The Seven of Cups. <laughs> and I just had to drink some water. So, yeah, someone may have a really hard time communicating. They may feel like there's a lot they want to communicate. And they may not know how to go about it. You, If you think about a Scorpio... Because I'm getting this strongly. So that you may be dealing with the Scorpio. Or this just may be the energy. One, it's already an energy that you're having to deal with astrologically. But it may be an energy in your chart. Um, just feeling very confused um, when it comes to communication. Not knowing. There may be a blockage. So if you have... And we're moving into Sagittarius energy. So... I'm getting once this full moon energy subsides and then we step into the Sagittarius season out of Mercury retrograde, out of its shadow period, things will be a lot less foggy. You have the seven of cups. Yes, a lot of fogginess. So a lot of people are in their head. It's like I'm getting somebody saying, I know that I'm not supposed to think before I speak. And then now it's to the point where somebody may be thinking way too much about the situation and they're not even supposed to be thinking about it right now right now you're just supposed to be just going with the flow going with the flow so heavily with a lot of virgos um this just this may be not only just your energy but other people's energy too so it's just like you're mirroring it and this is something that you all are supposed to be heeding right now Amen. We just we just talked about this. This is not something that you are supposed to be really thinking about right now. See it. See it for what it is. Don't put any label on it or anything right now. You just just hang out. Just chill out. Cuz if you try to do too much, it's you're going to end up back in this energy. Pull one more clarifier. Zero messages do you have for Virgo for the month of November 2017? Nine of Swords, Virgo. Pay attention. Beware. Do not. <laughs> do not. And this energy may be coming towards you, too, because they see that you're chilling. The only thing you should be doing right now is retrograde stuff. Revise. Sharpen those skills. Work on that Eight of Pentacles. But don't get too far in thought with this Knight of Swords. You got the Knight of Swords in here and the King of Swords. And you got the Ace of Swords up in here. You got Nine of Swords. You got swords, Virgo, and you're Virgo, so yes. Thank you, Virgo, that is your reading. <laughs> I pray, I pray that you all see the light in this all. This is a very beautiful, beautiful time. It's a great opportunity. All you have to do is look past the self-sabotaging energy and the mindset and this is just that that winter energy, the Scorpio beneath the surface. But Sagittarius season is coming. I know it squares you all too, so you may be a little spooked by this, you know, sextile energy. Not really feeling 
good either but yes the it'll it'll be just fine virgo please just breathe and we're gonna get through it i got a mid-month for you all as well so yes peace and blessings upon you all see you all again soon